Hi everyone, it's Charmaine here. I'm so excited to share with you all a padded headband tutorial. I've been loving wearing these lately, so let me show you how to make one. First thing you're going to want to do is cut three pieces of quilting batting 4 by 16 inches. Next, we're going to start gluing on the first piece of batting. So as you can see here, I'm just putting a dot of glue at the top of the headband and just starting to press that down and then continue putting glue on the headband. As you can see here, I'm putting a little bit more glue and then I'm just gonna continue that throughout the whole headband just so I can get that first piece of batting on and secure. After you glue on that first piece of batting, next you want to cut off the excess. So go ahead and cut off all of the excess batting around the headband. Next, we're gonna grab our second piece of batting and pretty much do the same thing as step one, starting with the glue at the top of the headband and then continuing to glue that second piece of batting down. Again, we are gonna cut off the excess batting as we did in the first step. Next, we're going to want to add on that third piece of batting. As you can see, I already glued it on my headband, but instead of cutting off that excess batting at the end, I just went ahead and started to glue around it and glue down the sides so I could basically make a full padded headband. We're going to grab a 7 by 16 inch strip of fabric that we're going to glue all around our headband. You can choose any types of fabric that you like. I decided to go with this really pretty lilac satin. As you can see here, I'm just starting again, same process as adding on the batting, just putting a dot of glue at the end of the headband and then continuing to glue the fabric on. After you glue on that strip of fabric to your headband, go ahead and cut about one inch slits on both sides because we're going to start to glue down the fabric and it's easier to glue down if you cut inch slits on the sides just so your headband and the fabric doesn't bunch up too much. Next, we are going to grab our ribbon and just add it as a lining for the inside of our headband. I liked doing this because it's a good way to kind of hide up any mess ups on the inside of your headband. So go ahead and measure all around your headband and cut a strip and then we're going to go ahead and glue it on right after.
last but not least, grab your decor for your headband. I'm using pearls in this case. I decided to put all the pearls in a line and I just went ahead and glued them all on. I really liked how it looked and turned out in a line, but you can of course spread pearls out, you can add jewels, you can add gems, you can really have a lot of fun making different headbands like this. So there you have it, a really cute, beautiful, ethereal headband to wear in summer and the fall. I definitely feel like these are going to start popping up in stores and on the runways. So have fun and create your own padded headband. See you next time!